I'm the Tom West. I'm the Tom West. With the Tom West. I'm the Tom West. It's the Tom West. I'm the Tom West. We're low on the meets. Run up. Some of belly from us. I'm the Professor Tom West with Quicksilver Bedliners and I love dumptrucks.com. And today we're going to talk to you about weight. People talking. Not John Wait. 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 No, not that kind of weight. Wait. What we're going to talk to you today about is weight of your liner in your dump trailer or your dump body and how you can save weight. Let's put the beef where all the wear is at. Let's put your thinner stuff up front, put your thicker stuff at the rear. Maybe you're hauling nasty stuff where you need a heavy liner throughout the whole length of the trailer. Doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to show you the comparisons of weight of your liner and steel versus aluminum and weight in steel and aluminum compared to Quicksilver, the Hulk and Dura Pro liner. So let's go through some simple math here. Math scares people, should we not do math? All right, so you're at a point right now with your floor and your truck or your trailer, and you're looking at it saying, I gotta do something this winter. Why? Because I did a lot of trucking this year. Everybody was busy. That's great. That's what we wanna hear. But you gotta do something now. And now what do you do? You're looking at doing a retrofit. And eh, maybe you do a new unit. Okay, this will still apply because we're gonna talk about weight of what we're talking about adding into your unit. So let's look at it this way. Quarter inch Quicksilver Hulk and Dura Pro. One and a quarter pounds per square foot. Three eighths, 1.88 pounds per square foot. Half inch, two and a half pounds per square foot. What does that mean in comparison to your aluminum floor? Three and a half pounds a square foot is how much quarter inch aluminum weighs. 5.2 pounds per square foot in three eighths inch aluminum floor. We ain't even going down a half inch, Rose. She's just getting heavier. Heavier and heavier. Okay, let's talk about steel quarter inch. You do a steel quarter inch is at 10.2 pounds a square foot. 3 8 inch square foot of steel, 15.3 pounds a square foot. So when you're looking at these numbers and you're calculating it up and say if you wanted to do just a regular 10 foot wide liner, and remember we can go all the way up to 16 foot wide liners and then just multiply it out times the length of your body. So if you say you got a 16 footer and you want to go a 10 foot wide liner, that's 160 square feet. We'll do the math here and do the calculations. Point being, it's going to add up really quick. It's just like buying tires for your truck. When you got to buy duels, you're not buying one. Yeah, you're buying eight. Okay, and, and if you got steer tires, and if you got a tri-axle, if you got a quad axle, see how that adds up? Well, that's what's going on here. The other thing is when your wife's making eggs at home for you on Saturday or Sunday or whenever like that, and if she doesn't have Teflon in that pan, the thing sticks and it makes a mess. Well, guess what? Your load is a mess inside your box unless you got yourself a liner. So if you're going to add weight into your box, let's not add as much and give you the slip that you need to keep yourself productive and not hauling around a bunch of carry back that'll get stuck up in the nose of your box. Whether it be in your trailer or your truck, you're only getting paid one time for that stuff. Let's make it work for you. And when you get to the scales, you'll see the difference.